Hi all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there, it's Shannon and welcome back to the Persnickety Puzzler. Today I will be sharing part three of my five part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Most of these artists are artists whose puzzles I already own, but there are a handful of artists whose work I do not own, but would love to get my hands on. The majority of these puzzles are still in print, but there are some that are out of print, which means the only way to get them is probably on eBay. I have included links in the description below to all of the artist puzzles in this video, along with any coupon codes that may apply. I will be sharing these artists with you in alphabetical order, starting with the letter G and ending with the letter K. I also will be showing you pictures of the artist puzzles as I talk about each artist. Let's get started. The first jigsaw puzzle artist I would like to share with you today whose work I love is the American artist David Galchut. This puzzle is called Floral Peacock. It is 1,000 pieces on the pomegranate jigsaw puzzle brand. I think David Galchut draws spectacular birds and I love his color choices. Another one by David Galchut. This one is called Tropical Trio. It is 1,000 pieces on the pomegranate jigsaw puzzle brand and I think it is stunning. Wonderful. The next puzzle artist whose work I adore is the Canadian artist Carolyn Gavin. This puzzle is called Strawberry Fields. It is 1,000 pieces on the Workshop Puzzle brand. Look at the colors in this puzzle. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Another one by Carolyn Gavin on the Workshop Puzzle brand. This one is called Belize Butterflies. It is 500 pieces. I am a Workshop affiliate, and if you use my discount code Persnickety20, you will get 20% off your total purchase, and I will receive a small commission that helps to support this channel. The next artist whose work I adore is the American artist Mac George. This puzzle is called Billy's Burgers. It is 1,000 pieces on the Modern Puzzles brand. And I love this kind of artwork, this retro mod artwork. I love it. I think this guy is really talented. Next up, we have the English artist May Gibbs. This puzzle is called Square because, to be honest, they never named this puzzle. She never named the puzzle. So on the Journey of Something website, Journey of Something is the puzzle brand that carries May Gibbs' work. They called it Square. This is 1,000 pieces, and I love her artwork. I love everything this woman does. This is another one on the Journey of Something website. This one is actually got a name, and it is called Patchwork. It is 1,000 pieces. The brand Journey of Something is based in Australia, so I don't order from them very often because the shipping is incredibly expensive. This last one that I want to show you is called Christmas Tree Ornament. It came out around Christmas of 2023. It's a 42 piece puzzle. I mean, oh my goodness, I love this artwork. Next up, we have the American artist, Thomas Gasecki. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I am not sure. This particular puzzle is on the Chuffed Puzzles brand. It is 1,000 pieces, and it is called Last Chance Gas. I think this artwork is absolutely incredible. Incredible. 
And I really, really hope that Thomas Gaseke puts out some more artwork because I would buy it instantly. The next artist whose work I adore is the Italian artist Philip Giordano. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle on the Madeira Puzzles brand. The box says it is called The Tale of Yokai, but when you look it up on the website, it is called Japanese Munsters. I just, soon as I saw him, and I'm relatively new to Madeira, I do plan to do a review of this brand. Um, I was just blown away by this guy. Loved it. Okay. Another one by Philip Giordano. This one is called Buzzy Spring. 1,000 pieces. Love it. And one more by Philip Giordano. This one is called Autumn Whisper. I think the colors are so wonderful, so perfect. And I just love his style of illustration. The next artist whose work I adore is the German artist Ernst Haeckel. This puzzle is called Sea Anemones. It is 500 pieces on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Ernst Haeckel was a zoologist and naturalist from the mid to late 1800s who discovered thousands of new species and he illustrated them. And man, was that guy talented. So this is one of the puzzles that I currently own. Another one by Ernst Haeckel is called Hummingbirds. It is on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand and it is gorgeous. And he also has additional puzzles out in the wild. You just have to search for his name, you'll find more. Next up is the German artist, Stefan Gross Halbuer. This puzzle is called Stroll in Tokyo. It is 1,000 pieces on the Chuffed Puzzles brand. I am actually currently assembling this puzzle in my living room. I have never done a puzzle by this brand before, and I am blown away by the quality of this brand. You're going to hear about it because, yes, I'm doing a review. Anyway, I just love this. I love this style of artwork. I don't even know how to describe it. And it's not as colorful as I would normally be drawn to, but I don't care. I love it. Next, another one by Stefan Gross Halbur on the Chuffed Puzzles brand. This is 1,000 pieces called Urban Jungle. Love it, love it, love it. Next up, we have the American modernist artist, Charlie Harper. This is a 1,000 piece puzzle called the California Desert Mountains on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Charlie does these stylized wildlife illustrations that I love. I eat them up. He has quite a few puzzles on the pomegranate line. This is just one of them. This is another one. This one is called the Rocky Mountains. It is 1,000 pieces on the pomegranate jigsaw puzzle brand. I don't know. I probably own about 10 of his puzzles. There's still some I don't have, but I'll get them all eventually. I really like them. Next up, another artist whose work I love. This artist's name is Billy Hassel. He's American. This puzzle is called Crossing the Rio Grande. It is 500 pieces on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Billy Hassel draws incredible birds. Incredible. And I think this is stunning. Another one by Billy Hassel that I recently acquired. This one is called Caprock Country. 
It is 1,000 pieces, and look at the colors in this puzzle. Gorgeous. All right, now we're up to an artist that just about everybody who loves jigsaw puzzles loves this artist. Her name is Demelsa Houghton. This puzzle is called If Fish Could Walk. It is 2,000 pieces on the Ravensburger Puzzle brand. Demelsa is from the UK. What I love about her is that her work is magical. It's magical and ethereal. And I could look at her work for days and not get tired of it. She is amazing. Another one by Demelsa. This one is called Happy Halloween. I put it together around Halloween. It's 1,000 pieces, and I had so much fun putting this together. I loved it. Look at that image. Mm. Another one by Demelsa. She's got a few. I don't have them all, which is a tragedy, but I'm going to be getting them. This one is 2,000 pieces. It is called Novel Avenue on the Ravensburger Puzzle brand. I think the artwork is incredible. She is gifted. Another one by Demelsa Houghton. This one is called Secret Garden. It is 1,000 pieces on the Ravensburger Puzzle brand and it is fabulous. She also has another puzzle out called Rabbit Recital. It's brand new for 2024. It's 500 pieces. I found it on Puzzle Warehouse, Puzzles Canada, and Jigsaw Jungle. Not everybody seems to have it yet. And there is another puzzle that she did that's 1,000 pieces, brand new for 2024. It is called Snow White and the Seven Gnomes. I could only find that puzzle at Puzzles Canada and Jigsaw Jungle. So if you know of any other storefronts that are carrying her 2024 puzzles, let me know in the comments below. And the next puzzle artist whose work I adore is the American artist, Catherine Harrell. This puzzle is called Butterfly Beauty. It is 1,000 pieces on the Elena Essex puzzle brand. I love the colors and how she drew these butterflies. I think this is a gorgeous image. And the next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I adore, I love, is the Canadian artist Janet Hill. This puzzle is called Sand Shark Bar. It is 500 pieces on the New York Puzzle Company puzzle brand. I love this woman. She has a lot of puzzles on the New York Puzzle Company line, and I got a lot of puzzles that I still need to buy to get every puzzle she's ever done. She, she keeps <laughs> producing them at a rate that I cannot keep up, but I just love her style. Another one by Janet Hill. This one is called Barmaids. It is 500 pieces on the New York Puzzle Company line. If I had a bar area, I would frame this and put that puzzle right by my bar, along with the Sand Shark Bar puzzle. Another one by Janet Hill. This one is called House Plants. It's 1,000 pieces on the New York Puzzle Company line. Another one by Janet Hill. This one is called Indoor Tennis, 1,000 pieces on the New York Puzzle Company line. I just love the whimsy of this, love this. And a huge one. This is the New York Puzzle Company Janet Hill Advent Calendar that I picked up over Christmas because as I said, I love this woman. I am a huge, huge fan of her work. So I picked this up. Um, I'm not sure you can get this right now. You might be able to find it on eBay. 
Uh, I would wait for the prices to be reasonable because brand new, it's a $200 advent calendar. Okay. The next artist whose work I adore is the Swedish artist Alexander Jonsson. This puzzle is called Off We Go. It is 1,023 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I love this artwork. He also has another puzzle on Magnolia that is 1,000 pieces called Big Snowy. I don't own this puzzle yet, but I will. Another artist whose work I adore is the English artist Colin Johnson. This puzzle is called New World. It is 1,000 pieces on the Soonness brand. Colin did some puzzles a few years back for the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. One is called Yellow Rose, and there is another one called My Pop. And those two puzzles are out of print, but you might be able to find them on eBay. Now, this puzzle is on the Soonness brand. I am a Soonness affiliate, and if you use my coupon code Persnickety, you will get 10% off your total purchase on the Soonness website. And the last artist in today's video is the Romanian artist Andrea Curti. This puzzle is called Arabian Nights. It is 1,000 pieces on the D Toys Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I love this woman's art. Love it. These puzzles, I'm going to be showing you a total of four, are out of print. And the only way you're going to be able to find them is on eBay. This is Arabian Nights. This next one I'm going to show you is called Sleeping Beauty, 1,000 pieces on the D Toys brand. The next one is called Snow White, 1,000 pieces, D Toys brand. And the last puzzle, this one is called Frog Princess. It is 1,000 pieces on the D Toys brand. That's a wrap for part three of my five part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. I've put some discount coupon codes in the description below, so you may want to check those out. I am on a mission to discover as many fantastic jigsaw puzzle artists out in the wild as I can. So if you know of an artist that is really talented, let me know in the comments below. Don't be shy. I'm sure we'd all love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you next time.